Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Power BI real-time scenarios. So today we are going to discuss one more real-time scenario and this is very interesting. Here in the right side you can see the pie chart and in the pie chart we are having the locations and their occurrence in the table. So in the left side table you can see the UP that is occurring three times. That's why in the right side you can see UP as three. After that you can see the Bihar, so Bihar is occurring two times, that's why in the right side you can see Bihar as two. Then Mumbai is occurring two times, that's why here you can see the Mumbai as two. Rest of the locations are occurring only once, as you can see the USA, then Noida, then Nagpur, then Nasik. So these four locations are occurring only once, that's why it should go inside the others category, which is you can see in the right side. Of this pie chart so how we can do that so for that we have to create this count if for duplicate location column by using DAX so here you can see we are having the UP so it is occurring three times first is here second is here and third is here so it is going to count the UP and here you can see the occurrence once we'll generate this column after that we'll add one more column that will see if the count if for duplicate location value is one then that should be the others otherwise the location that is having in our existing table so this is our concept so first of all we need to look how we can calculate this count if for duplicate location so for that let me open another power bi desktop and here I am already imported this table. Now let me add a new column. So we can click on this. So it will add a new column. And we need to wait few seconds. So here the new column. Now let me maximize this. Now let me call this as count if for duplicate location. Now what our logic will be the first thing i am going to declare a variable so for that we have to use the where then we need to specify the underscore after that we need to specify the variable name so that will be the current id i guess then we can specify equals to then our table name and the location value so table name is seat one after that what is the column so that is the location so this will be hold the current location value which is you can see the first column that is the mumbai so it will hold the mumbai on this variable next we want to return what we want to return we want to return the count rows so we can use the count rows so you can see this count rows here it will ask for table name so for that we want to put the filter so we can put the filter for that particular location so this is the filter then the table name that is the seat one after that we can put the comma here we want to filter where our existing location should be equals to the location that is containing in this table so for that we can specify the underscore then the current id so this is the variable it should be equals to the seat one location now we can close the bracket and we can put the enter so that's it it's very easy and let me check the values so here we can see the mumbai so mumbai is coming two times that's why you can see the two and the nasik nagpur you can see only once bihar is coming two times up is coming three times so this is as we are expecting let's have a look one more time of this formula so here basically we are going to hold the location for that particular row so first time it will holding the mumbai on this current id variable after that 
we want to return where we can see the count rows this is our existing formula and we want to filter this on this table which is our seat one that should be equal to the variable which is holding the current location that should be equal to the location which is available in our table so mumbai it will hold over here it will search the mumbai how many times it's coming in this table so that is doing this count rows and it will filter only that particular row so for example here it will filter for mumbai first time so let me put the filter for mumbai and here we can click on ok so it will have only two rows so in this formula you can see it will get only two rows like it will filter first after that it is counting the rows so here it will find two rows that's why it is returning the two rows that's you can see right in this column so this is very easy after that what next we need to do we need to have one more column that will have the new location so let me add a new column and here let me call this as location new that might be this one after that we can use the if formula if seat one count of this duplicate location is equals to one then it should be others otherwise we want to use the same location now we can close the bracket and put the enter so in the new location you can see we are having the mumbai mumbai then others others because it is having only one then bihar up others like that so hopefully you have understand how we can created these two columns now go to on the visualization and here go to on the pie chart and let me try to make it bigger next what we want to do here you can see the location new so this location new should go in the legend so we can drag and drop it here after that here you can see the id so this id should go in the values like counting these so we can check this and it's counting so here we are having the same value as we were expecting so hopefully guys you have understand how we can do that next what we want to do we want to have one more filter over here in the slicer so let me add a slicer and in the slicer let me try to make it little bit smaller and here we want to use the date column so that is the plc date so we can drag and drop this plc date in the slicer now let me make it as list if we will select any particular then here we can see only up and if we select any another so that should be working according to the selection of this so how we can do that the selection of that slicer value as of now it will not gonna work because here what we have created that is the static value like county for duplicate location it is the static value it will not gonna check for any particular date value so next we wanna put the filter for the date value so that will be seen in the next video thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much see you in the next video